Capricorn. This is Lucky with Lucky Sevens Tarot. Let me give you a few announcements before we get into your spread. Uh, this is for mid-July 2021. Remember, this is still a general reading, which means that not every reson not every message will resonate with you. If it doesn't resonate, check your chart in your other videos or any of the other amazing YouTube readers that we have online. All right. Also, feel free to get a personal reading with me. My website is lucky 7 The link is in the description box below if you're interested in that. If you want to know more, the link to the extended version of July 2021's general reading is also in the description box below. I want to thank everyone who donates to my channel, who subscribes and likes this video and supports my channel in any way you guys make this totally possible. I appreciate you. If you're new here, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing. Make sure you like the video if this was helpful in any way. Uh, and if you want to enter to win the free mini cardology report that I offer two of my subscribers at the end of the month, you can do that by being subscribed to my channel, liking this video and commenting Capricorn rules in the comment section down below. I love you guys. Let's get into this. Uh, you have the stork. You have the star. You have the roses. You have the moon the money safe. You also have the bride. You have the snake and the park. Okay. So looking at this, first of all, I do feel like things are changing within your residence, within your home or your work life, right? Um, for the better. So this can be someone moving in, someone moving out. This can be remodeling. This can be uh, you buying a new home, getting a new apartment, um, something of that nature, right? So things are changing in your home life um, or within your work life for the better. Now with the star, this does tell me that there is some sort of success coming towards you, all right? Success in whatever it is that you've been doing. Now, the only thing that sort of worries me here is you do have the rose, the money safe in the position that it's in, and the snake, the snake tells me that you guys are dealing with some sort of significant loss of some kind. Uh, for some of you, this can be loss of a relationship, loss of a of um, a money even, especially because the money safe is in the position where it is shut um, on the one side that is directed towards you in this particular spread. So some of you may have may be putting money out or may have spent a lot of money, especially in some sort of transition with a positive move. For some of you, that is the that's the the situation where you've had to put money out in order to make positive changes for yourself. Um, so at least you've you have that money to be able to put out. But there is I feel like there is new success or new money coming towards you. All right. Um, some of you, you are dealing with some sort of health issue or someone else's health issue uh, may be affecting you. This can be physical health. This can be mental health, emotional health, what have you. Um, but that could be something that is um, difficult for you to deal with. Some of you, maybe the health issue could be that you are pregnant or dealing with a pregnancy of some kind. Um now, with the moon here, the moon is a good omen. It also predicts good fortune. So uh, a lot of you have good fortune coming towards you, all right? But I do feel like for many of you, you have money coming in, but it's also, it's already accounted for. Whether it's enough money to pay your bills, enough money to buy certain things that you wanted to buy, um, but it's already like placed somewhere, if that makes sense. Now, for some of you, this can indicate the possibility of someone trying to take money or take some sort of resources from you with the snake and the money safe. Um, but I feel like you get through that situation and there's some beautiful benefits uh, and good luck sort of coming towards you, coming your way, right? Some sort of success, okay? Now, you do have the park, and the park does indicate to me that you have new love coming in very soon, all right? Uh, some of you, especially for those of you who are single with the bride, this could indicate to me that you have fulfillment coming in uh, of your highest hopes and your aims and, and things of that nature, okay? Um, even if you've lost some sort of confidence in yourself, uh, but I definitely see where, and if 
If you're married or you're in a higher level commitment with someone, you could be in a turbulent relationship where there might be some collateral damage done in the situation. Um, but I definitely see new love. It could be new love of self. It could be a new love partner coming in. And for most of you, that's what I'm seeing it to be. All right. Let's get into your main spread here. What messages do you have for the sign of Capricorn for mid-July 2021? Sign of Capricorn for mid-July 2021. Okay. What's the challenge? The challenge, Capricorn, is the Knight of Cups in reverse. And you have the Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck. The Queen of Wands, the Knight of Wands, and the Five of Wands. You got the Three of Wands. You have the Empress uh, and the Death card. Okay. So your challenge has a lot to do this month with... Um, some sort of love offer that you're not receiving or you're not giving because keep in mind, any of these messages may be reversed, right? But I feel like things are changing for you in a really positive way. It's like something fell apart for you and maybe you've been waiting for this new beginning to manifest. Uh, you could definitely be at a distance with someone. And I feel like your focus is on healing because you don't see this uh, coming together. All right. Um, let's see what you don't see coming. What you don't see coming is the two of swords in reverse. And you have the chariot at the bottom of the deck in reverse. You've got the king now of wands, uh, the four of pentacles. So I feel like a lot of you guys have kind of been stuck in this energy of not knowing what direction to go in, right? And I think that now what you don't see coming is a change. You guys figuring out what you want and what you don't want in your life and going towards that, you know, taking some sort of action here to go towards something. I do feel like some of you are dealing with a, some sort of depression or sadness or a feeling of loneliness. All right. But Things are going to even themselves out, I feel like. Um, for some of you, you may be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Um, so let's talk about this because you have the Queen of Swords in reverse, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You've got the Ten of Cups in reverse. You've got the Tower, okay? You've also got the Moon in reverse, Piscean energy, also Cancer for me as a reader. You've got the Nine of Swords, and you've got the Eight of Wands in reverse. A lot of this doesn't look good, guys, right? It doesn't look good, but again, I feel like this is you changing. There is some sort of surprise change, something um, that I feel like changes things for you in a very significant way, right? I think that there's somebody that you're not talking to, someone that you might even have some sort of bitterness towards. Um, I do feel like there are secrets being revealed here. Okay. Um, some of you have been feeling a lack of abundance, right? A lack of harmony in your life. And you're doing a lot of overthinking about it, right? You're stuck in your head about it. There may be somebody that you're not communicating with, or you just feel like there's something that has you stuck that you're not able to move forward. All right. You're really in your head. So let's see why this Queen of Swords is here. You have the Queen of Swords clarified by the Page of Cups in reverse. At the bottom of the deck, you've got the Four of Cups in reverse. I definitely see some of you guys could have been ghosted. All right. Um, but I see a new offer coming in, something stable here. Okay. Some of you, it has to do with someone from the past. Um, could be a Scorpio, could be a Gemini energy, but I feel like there's this energy of you kind of feeling a lack of confidence, like you're not able to manifest the outcome you want. But here's the thing. I do see where you have a wish come true coming in. Okay. Um, I feel like there is some sort of bitterness that you have towards somebody that may have walked away from you. Maybe you're falling out of love with someone here. 
Ten of Cups in reverse. You have the Everything is Fine card in the reverse. And you've got the Five of Wands here. I also see the Two of Cups reversed. Okay. I feel like some of you guys may have found out that somebody was untrustworthy, right? It may have even caused a lot of fighting or uh, bickering here with the Five of, of Wands. Something fell apart and it was painful for you, okay? But you do have something coming towards you, an opportunity coming in very slowly. I feel like the opportunity is a love offer or something that you can commit yourself to. Um, some of you may be dealing with an earth sign, another earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, or an Aries uh, energy here. And I feel like there was a loss because of somebody's manipulation. And this has got you feeling really stuck, right? Kind of torturing yourself, all right? Almost trying to figure out where things went wrong, where you could have made some different decisions. Tell me about the tower. You have the tower with the high priestess, all right? And then you have the three of cups at the bottom of the deck the two of pentacles and the devil in reverse with the knight of wands. So like I said, right, there's a need to really trust your intuition. Uh, Capricorn, I feel like some of you guys, there is some sort of celebration, okay, that you guys are, are going to be having very soon. I feel like some of you, this could even be a possible reconciliation with someone, but whatever it is, it's like, you're not certain about it. Okay. I feel a level of uncertainty here, but there are changes coming in for the better, especially for those of you who have felt like there was a, something that made you feel insecure. Okay. I feel like you're finally in a place of letting go of whatever it was that's been holding you back from the life that you've that you want for yourself because a lot of you have put a lot of time and effort into something that maybe you feel like you wasted your time. All right. Um, and you're not allowing this to hold you back from your happiness moving forward. For some of you, maybe this is a Leo. All right. We're going to see, let's see why this moon is here in the reverse. And you have the temperance Sagittarius energy in the reverse. Okay. Um, Bottom of the deck, Page of Wands reversed, Ace of Swords, the world in reverse. Some of you, there is a cycle that has not fully com come to a close, and it's it's brought things out of balance here. You could be finally getting a message or receiving some sort of communication or clarity, you know, um, that finally kind of puts you in a place where you're able to take a risk in a new direction to let go and no longer wait around uh, for someone to put in the effort and sort of fight for a relationship or connection any longer. Some of you, maybe it's a Cancer, maybe it's a Pisces, maybe it's a Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. All right. Why is the Nine of Swords here? So you have the Nine of Swords with the Queen of, of Wands in the reverse. I see the Five of Cups here. And at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Nine of Cups the five of swords in reverse and the three of pentacles. Okay. Behind that, you've got the four of swords and the knight of wands. I feel like a lot of you have been feeling stuck. All right. Really overthinking a situation, possibly doing a lot of thinking and not a lot of action. Okay. Some of you, it has to do with a fire sign. Some of you, this is just an energy of you feeling like things are not working out, right? And it's a lot of, well, what if? What if things don't work out the way that I wanted them to, you know? The thing is, is that I see you coming out of conflict about this. I feel like there is going to be a positive change in this situation, okay? I feel like somebody has been running from you. Maybe you're the one that's running. I don't know. And if you were not communicating with someone, I see surprise communication coming in, but I feel like the surprise communication or information that comes to you is exactly what you need to let something go. All right. Why is the eight of wands here in the reverse? 
the two of swords in reverse. This is the second time we've seen the two of swords. It's in what you don't see coming. And it came out again and both in the reverse, um, clarifying the eight of wands in reverse. All right. And then you have the emperor in reverse. Some of you, this is an Aries or Virgo energy. For others, this is somebody that is emotionally manipulative. This is somebody that could be narcissistic in the way that they are trying to control the situation. All right. And I think that somebody here is trying to control the situation by blocking communication with you. Um, and it, I feel like it's been a person that in some way gets off by, by feeling like they're in control. Now, I see where you guys finally take back your power in this. You take back your power by not allowing this to keep you stuck any longer. All right. Um, I feel like someone has been holding back emotionally. But I see you guys healing from the betrayal that you feel. I see you healing from the knife that's been in your back. All right. There's going to be an opportunity for a new beginning. Some of you, maybe this is with an Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Um, I see a new offer coming in that has stability attached to it. All right. Something uh, with the Ace of Pentacles, something that's very stable for you. But a lot of you have to focus on letting go of something. All right. Letting go of something that's already died. Okay. The decision was already made in some way. So tell me why this Knight of Cups is in the reverse as your challenge. The Six of Pentacles in reverse. And you have the King of Cups that I'm seeing. I see the King of Pentacles. Both of them are in reverse and the Magician in reverse, right? So there's a lot of manipulation going on here. Um, emotional manipulation. Okay. I do see where some of you guys are trying to come out of a place of feeling lonely, feeling sad, feeling depressed. All right. And you do do that. Okay. You do do that. I see you doing a lot of self-reflecting. Okay. Um, and there is going to be some sort of celebratory type of energy that manifests for you, but there's something here that you got to give up on. You know, it's like, the per the other person isn't doing the work. They're not giving to this. So it's like you need to let it go. And as you let it go, you, you really heal from something. You have the page of swords in reverse and the seven of pentacles at the bottom of the deck, clarifying this two of swords energy in reverse as what you don't see coming. So Capricorn, what you don't see coming is, yes, you gave a lot. You put effort into something and I feel like you realize that it's not going anywhere anymore. Like maybe I feel like for a lot of you, you had hope. Um, you had hope that this would eventually clear up. It would eventually come back around. You could work through it. And now I think you're realizing like, no, it's not manifesting. You know, it's not going anywhere. And you, all it's been doing is causing you to be stuck you know, missing out on potential new opportunities um, because you were hopeful for something in the past to clear itself up. And now you're realizing that's not the case, okay? You haven't been seeing something clearly. Maybe somebody, for some of you, have been lying to you um, or just not communicating at all. And I feel like you guys are getting out of this place of like allowing yourself to be torn, because of this. Tell me why this Knight of Cups is here. I'm going to get a couple extra messages for you guys. Knight of Cups reverse and Six of Pentacles reverses the challenge for Capricorn. Yeah, Capricorn, this has been a big weight on your shoulders, but you're coming to the end of that. This is the 10, which tells me that you guys, as much as it's been a, a weight on you that you're not getting what you want from this situation, despite I feel like a lot of you have wanted somebody to fight for this, okay? And because they're being emotionally manipulative or not offering you the emotion that you want, it's like I see you guys like overcoming the the sadness of this and deciding to let go. All right. Deciding that this is too much of a burden on your shoulders. Tell me why the two of swords is in reverse with the page of wands reverse, the queen of cups reverse. 
And then at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Empress in reverse. This is like an energy of you finally realizing that you need to let go and walk away from something for good. All right. Uh, because it's not manifesting. This is not an option for you anymore. All right. What's in the past is in the past. And now you're not waiting around um, for this situation any longer. Tell me about the moon reverse and the temperance reverse for Capricorn. The two of pentacles. Yeah, somebody was juggling with this situation and the truth was, uh, was revealed. And it, it, I feel like it was a situation where somebody chose someone else. They chose someone else over you, um, despite what you had given to the situation. And this was a very significant loss for you. I feel like this is something that you struggle with. And now the universe is trying to push you in a new direction. I feel like there's some happiness that comes in for you um, as you decide to move on. Queen of Swords and Page of Cups in reverse. Why is this here? The Nine of Pentacles in reverse, the Empress in reverse, okay? Yeah, somebody left you to go be with someone else or be in another relationship with somebody else. For a lot of you, that's the case, okay? Um, and I feel like your happiness comes in. A lot of you guys, I feel like your focus is on money, on your career, on your stability, what you have control over, okay? Um, tell me about this tower and the high priestess, the ace of pentacles. Oh, wow. Capricorn. You got the ace of pentacles, clarified by the knight of pentacles, or I'm sorry, the tower, the high priestess, and the ace of pentacles. And then at the bottom of the deck, the knight of pentacles and the nine of cups. Somebody is coming in slow to offer you something stable. And this is like your wish come true, okay? This is your wish come true that to, to sort of get this offer, right? Um, but the issue that I'm seeing here, Capricorn, is that in order to accept the offer that you're getting, to accept the stability that you're getting, you have to be willing to let go of the past. Somebody wants to have something very, you know, something good with you. And I feel like you don't even expect it. It's almost like, wow, there's a higher level commitment that potentially is coming in. But if you're still focused on holding on to the past, if you're still focused on a past person in your life that is not giving you what you need and desire from the relationship or the connection, you're going to miss out on this new opportunity coming in, okay? Um, yeah, because you're going to hold back emotionally in the situation, right? And I feel like a lot of you have been trying to hold on to hope that at some point, this person's going to wake up and realize that Capricorn is like the shit, even though you are, but this has been causing you to feel stuck. The fact that, that you want to come out and come out from being in the cold with somebody, you know, and it's like when you decide that you're not waiting on them anymore, you know, I feel like this offer comes in out of nowhere and you don't even expect it. You don't. It's everything that you want. OK, tell me about the Ten of Pentacles reversed. Five of Cups, a lot of you guys are struggling with a loss. Some of you, it may be a loss within your family, all right? For others, this is um, an energy of you just feeling the loss of uh, some level of abundance. It could make you feel very insecure, very uncertain, but this is also leading you, listen, to this new beginning where you have to be willing to take a risk towards something that makes you very happy and you need to move on from something that potentially was somebody being narcissistic, someone wanting to maintain control in the situation, all right? Um, that is where your happiness comes in. Nine of swords. and Yeah, look at that. There's a need to release yourself from being stuck in this. No longer waiting on somebody to come forward. No longer waiting, you know, to be a part of this anymore. I feel like you guys are moving on. Moving on, 
And it's difficult. I feel the energy of it being hard for you to let go, but it's time, you know, it's time because I think that what you have coming in is much better and much more solid um, in terms of what you deserve when it comes to love. Let's see what other messages spirit has for you. Messages for Capricorn. Capricorn, there could be a mature lover. Someone could, it could be an older than you. Um, or there's like some sort of age difference between you and this person, but this person is very mature. Okay. A lot of you guys, if you have felt alone, if you have felt financially struggle or financial struggle, I feel like that's changing for you. Okay. You're coming to the end of that. All right. Um, a lot of you, there's, there's definitely this new path that's opening up for you. Okay. A whole new direction opening. Some of you definitely have unexpected income coming in, some good fortune, something that you are not anticipating. All right. Yeah. I feel like Capricorn, this situation has matured you. All right. This has been a journey that you have been on. And now like things are changing in your life in a very, very big way. Okay. Some of you, you've been working towards making more money or having a new opportunity. And I see that coming in for you, possibly through some sort of family situation. You could receive some sort of good fortune or opportunity that you've been working for that maybe your family is in support of. Okay. Tell me about this unexpected income. What is this for Capricorn? Okay. Some of you have been working really, really hard um, towards something. Okay. Some of you, you may even have a lover or a, a friend, someone that comes towards you. Um, somebody that wants to offer you some sort of good fortune. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. Some of you, there could be somebody in bad health. All right. Having health issues. Some of you feel like maybe something was stolen from you. Something was taken from you that you, uh, have been working on working towards. Okay. Um, hmm. I feel like yeah, you guys are being given a gift, a blessing based on all the struggles that you've had, the, like you're coming towards a, a huge opportunity for yourself. All right. You may even be receiving some sort of um, significant, uh, significant recognition. All right. For all the hard work that you've put in, I feel like a lot of you are coming to the end of the rainbow where there's, you know, that bag of gold there. All right. I do see somebody trying to reach out to you, being very concerned about you. Okay. Some of you may receive some sort of unexpected income that has to do with someone like an inheritance of some kind. Um, maybe something having to do with court or some sort of judgment of some kind. If that's the case, then the income is coming in. All right. Let's see what else spirit wants you to know here. You know what? I want to use this deck real quick. What other messages do you have for Capricorn? Capricorn, you may have had, um, you may not be having sex. You may have a lack of sex drive, um, possibly because you're not feeling trust, like you can trust anyone. All right. I see where you're tired of arguing with someone. Okay. Um, yeah, a lot of you guys are healing from somebody who is unwilling or unable to take accountability. They're acting immature and there's definitely an, a distance there, whether it's a physical distance or emotional distance. 
Some of you, you're stressed out about a child or your family in some way. There's some worry about your family or a child. Um, yeah, I feel like somebody is not, somebody may be ashamed or embarrassed of something. And I feel like somebody here is feeling like they're not a priority. I see somebody in a rebound relationship. Some of you are physically distanced from someone where there's a lack of maturity, but, or let's see. Some of you are having to let go of a child or a family member. Maybe even hiding your feelings about it. Okay. Or someone that you consider to be family. I see you making a final decision because you're tired of far, uh, of arguing. You, I feel like some of you need closure or you have needed closure. And now you're just, you're at the place where closure is irrelevant and you're ready to just be done. You know, um, you don't want control in the situation. It, you... I feel like a lot of you guys feel neglected. You're trying to get over the grieving state of something. Somebody's pride. Look at that. Somebody's pride is getting in the way. Um, and they're acting like they don't care. But I see somebody really unhappy with the situation. All right. Maybe it's they're acting prideful because there is this energy of being unhappy with the situation. I don't know. Let's see. What messages do you have for Capricorn? Yeah, Capricorn, I think you're going on a new adventure because somebody is not willing to work on the situation. So you're kind of in this place of letting go. I see a lot of fear about ending this cycle that you've been on, possibly because there's fear of the unknown of what lies ahead of you. All right. A lot of you guys have felt alone. You felt like you've been in solitude, like you've had to deal with things all on your own. It's a lot of weight. Um, I see somebody wearing a false mask. Somebody was one way to, you know, they may have been one way with you and then one way when you were not around. Yeah. Some of you, there's some friendships in your life that need to be removed or people that you consider to be friends where there could be some information coming in. Um, for some of you, this can manifest for you as finding out who is your real friend and who isn't. For others, this is also an energy where somebody may have said that they had a friend that really you find out was like a lover, somebody they were dating. Um, yeah, there's something here. Some of you are afraid to give up. You're afraid of what giving up means for you, means for your future, okay? I feel like you're not angry anymore. You're coming to a place of peace, all right? You're coming to try, you're, I feel like you're trying to find your peace in the situation. You are learning to see the bigger picture. I see somebody having a really hard time letting go. I feel like there might be even be some truth coming out for you. I feel like, yeah, let's see, what's the solitude about? A lot of you guys have been doing a lot of self-reflection, looking at yourself, looking at where you went wrong. What, what do you need to fix so that this situation doesn't continue to manifest? You know, you felt alone and needed to take that time that was necessary for you so that you can move forward and be healthy and be happy, right? I feel like you ha may have been waiting for some sort of communication to come in and it's divine timing is at work here. All right. I feel like now you're trying to figure out what direction you're going in. Some of you guys are getting back into the dating scene. Yeah, I see a lot of frustration when it comes to somebody that could have been a, a false friend, you know, someone that you don't trust. All right. But I, I see somebody here trying to come back into your life, maybe because they're receiving their own karma. All right. Um, for some of you, this could be that the truth is revealed about who your real friends are and who they are not. 
All right. I definitely feel like there's a, a tower moment. Somebody here may be coming in to surprise you. Somebody that didn't want to do the work. Okay. Um, for some of you, there is a change. All right. The surprise is a change. I definitely see you guys practicing self-love, taking care of you. All right. Why is false mask here for Capricorn? Okay. Yeah. Somebody was not who they claimed to be. So the path between you and this person is not clear anymore. You may not have trusted your intuition and you need to. Okay. Um, I feel like you guys are awakening. You guys have been changing in this situation and you're no longer willing to invest in this because you, you're learning some sort of secret. I feel like some of you, somebody ran away, but they may be watching you um, in secret, secretly checking on you, making sure you're, you know, watching your social media. I don't know why, but like, could be like checking on you, that kind of thing. What other messages do you have for Capricorn for mid July? Hmm. Some of you are becoming more popular, maybe even networking, putting yourself out there, dating multiple people because you feel like you were dismissed. Okay. Somebody, I feel like someone breadcrumbed someone here. Somebody gave them enough to keep them around or is doing this. I definitely see where someone is wanting the relationship to come back together, but I do see you needing to trust your intuition. All right. Your intuition is correct. I see some sort of hidden information, somebody secretly wanting validation, secretly um, watching you online. And I see you guys waking up, becoming more self-aware. There could even be some sort of news or gossip that comes towards you that is a huge disappointment. You might be finding out this person is talking about you, you know, that kind of thing. All right. I feel like somebody is detached or detaching themselves from the situation. Um, yeah. I do see somebody gossiping or giving you some sort of information that may help you to detach yourself from this situation. All right. Let's see what uh, advice spirit has for you. What advice do you have for the sign of Capricorn? Capricorn, trust your instincts. Listen to your intuition. Don't ignore it. All right. Spirit is telling you that there is something here that you need to move on from. Okay. And remember that anything is possible. Don't count yourself out. Don't count out any ideas of what the future can look like for you. Let's see what other messages you have. Look at this. Cut the dead weight. There's something weighing you down and holding you back from the life that you want to have that's going to be better for you. So it's time to let that go. And remember, things you take for granted get taken. So either maybe you took this person for granted and you were the one that breadcrumbed them or vice versa. And the universe is just trying to remove you to make room and hold space for something better. All right, let me get one more. Visualize your prosperity. You can have what you want. You got to see it. All right, you got to see it as if it's already here. But do not compromise. Don't settle for less than what you know you deserve. All right. That's what I have for you, Capricorn. I hope that this was helpful for you and that it resonated. If it did, please be sure to subscribe to my channel if you have not already done so. Hit the like button, um, share it with your friends and family, and make sure you hit that notification bell as well so you're notified when I go live and when I post new videos. All right, guys, I love you, and I hope that you are loving on yourselves. Peace, love, and blessings to you always. Bye-bye.